Welcome to Great Highlights. I'm Amelia and I'll be serving you the latest news of the week. Your news on business. While the likes of US, Taiwan, India markets are trading near historical high levels, the Hong Kong and China stock markets retreated over the past month after witnessing some strong rallies in April and May. The Hong Kong or China market is still awaiting policy catalyst and all eyes will be on the third plenary session of the 20th CPC Central Committee which would be held on 15th of July 2004. It is expected to deepen reforms and promote Chinese-style modernization initiative. We remain cautiously optimistic on Chinese equities as we believe there is still room for incremental policies to excite the market. Both the US PCE and coal PCE inflation rate moderated to 2.6% year-on-year in May 2004, the lowest in three months, confirming to market expectations led by easing food prices and service inflation. The subsiding core inflationary pressure is in line with rising jobless rate at 4% in May 2004, highest since January 2002 and continuous pessimism sentiment as reflected by the University of Michigan consumer sentiment, 7-month low at 68.2. Moving forward, further deceleration of the Fed's favoured inflation gauge continues to point towards the Fed easing its policy rate. While this year is expected to be more favorable for investments than the previous year, it is important to stay watchful for any market volatility. Philip Capital Malaysia provides a comprehensive list of products including discretionary private managed accounts and unit trusts that are offered to retail investors, high level of individuals, corporations and institutions. Whether you want to DIY, seek for advice, or let the expertise fully handle your portfolio, our platform can cater to your needs and preferred way to achieve your financial goals. That's all for today. Stay tuned for the next Philip Highlights. This update is brought to you by Philip Capital, your partner in finance.